Hello guys, I am back with this video. It's a quick video to show you guys the essential brushes. I have some of my friends that always ask me what brushes should I buy and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do a video on it because I always have to tell people what brushes to buy. Um, I did one of my friends makeup one time and she wanted to steal my quickie brush. She had like a foundation brush like this and she used it for all of her face. I was like, that must take you forever. Um, so when I did her makeup and I used this brush, she was just like, hey, 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 Sean. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. Face bit back to the glass. You know, you know we do. You know. Hearty. Ah. That is a lifesaver. So she was like, I'm going to get it. And I said, yeah, why not? You should get it. And she did. And now she loves it. And she said, her makeup takes her so much quicker now that she's got this brush and it's flawless as well so you know I thought to do a video to show you guys the brushes that will save you time sometimes you wonder like why does my makeup never look like her makeup because you haven't got the right equipment you can't do a job without the right equipment can you brushes are essentially help your makeup look a lot more flawless you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna start with my number one brush that is essential some people don't even do like blushes, they don't do um, line light contour, but they do foundation and eyebrows. So if you're going to do foundation, you need this brush. It's buffing brush. Some people use it for powder and they also call it a flat top foundation brush. What I use this for, I use it for foundation. And this one is from Real Techniques. So also got a cheap alternative. The link below to show you guys where you can get something like that for I think five pounds on eBay and it works really well. That's the one that my friend got and she loved it. So something like this or that option. And you can just you can use it to blend all your foundation in. It's good for applying and blending foundation. I feel like it's an essential to have if you want to save time and also if you want a flawless finish. And this is the one that I said my friend went to buy on eBay but or is it Amazon? It does exactly the same job. But I always reach out for this one to benefit. Don't need much products like you know how some brushes will soak up the products this wouldn't do that. Yeah, another brush that is essential, number two, is a powder brush. This one is from Sigma and it's called a large powder brush. It's the Sigma F20. This brush is really good. You can use it for blush as well. I normally use it for powder for all over the face. It gives you a nice finish. Hi! Hello. Shh, 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 shh. I'm just making a video. Okay? It's a really good brush to you. Definitely just for powder, not for foundation. Don't use it for any liquid. It's good for powder only, okay? That's why it's called powder brush. I'll also put a link down below for an alternative as well. Baby, I'm loving you. I about your matter. Fluffy and good brush. Um, instead of this one, you can always use this contour brush because I use this as a contour anyway. It's this one today, but I've got two packs, so that's why this is clean. This is the one I use today. Get this contour, you know, this sharp contour. But if you have an angled brush, then you don't need to get this. This comes with this set from Real Technique for the set and this one comes with it so if you're gonna get the set then you don't need to get this one because it does the same job in my opinion some people like to use it for their nose which I feel like is too big but you could do that you could use it to contour your nose as well yeah you just have to, you just have to do this yeah and then just contour your nose with it another brush that I feel like is an essential it's the brush from Real Techniques as well Pointed foundation brush. If you don't have a beauty blender, you can use this to blend under the eye. I always use a beauty blender. And some people use it for the brows, which I've never done, but you could do that. But it just takes a long, it just takes longer. Get right, right here, man. Shit, I'm saying. Some people would use this to contour as well, so they would apply it right there and then push it up a bit. That's what some people do. I, I don't normally use it for that. I just use it for my under, just to apply concealer under my eye, and then I use my beauty blender. But you could use it to blend it, but I've got a beauty blender. I think a beauty blender will do the job a lot quicker. But um, this would work as well if you're just starting out and you don't want to fuck out roughly twenty pounds on a beauty blender. Then you can get this. It comes with this set as well. Do a techniques brush. Feel like I give me love. Give me love. Now you the catch in my shot. Liquid eye, liquid eyeliner brush from Sigma. It's the F35 brush. You can use it for eyeliner. This is not what I use today. I use a fan brush. So if you have a fan brush, you might not need this. You can also use it for dusting up stuff under the eye, which a fan brush also does. So it's kind of like. That's the same job, 
You can just use it for your piece bowl. So it's quite good. It just dust off everything. You can't even even use it for eye like they use it to dust off excess powder. So it does quite a few things. So whichever one you prefer, it's good. They're both good. This is the powder blush brush. So you can use this to blush. And some people use this for the part of the small area. And my food is good for anything to be honest. It's good for all over the face. It's good for like really small areas like here and here and here and here. So it's quite good for everything powdery that you've decided to use it for. Going to the eye, I've got four brushes that you can use for your eyes. A tapered blending brush, you can use it to contour your nose. And you can also use it to highlight the bridge of your nose as well. And some people like to use it here, which I feel is too small. You can use that for your um, transition colour. Just get it all up in there, transition, to blend everything in together. Now you they catch me short crease brush. You can use it for your crease. That's all I use it for to be honest. And now you, sometimes you can use it for your black. Like you want to get a smoky eye and you want it proper, precise. Put it all up here. Okay? This is an elf eyeshadow brush. You can use that for your lid. Yeah, just to get the colour right in your lid. Some people really use this to highlight their brow bone. Concealer brush, which you can use for your eyebrows. And some people use it for the bridge of their nose as well. I'm going to try and include like a set of brushes for you guys so it's easier. But this elf brush is really good, so you might need to buy a single one, which I did. I think it's about £1.99 or £3.00. I bought this ages ago, so I don't know if they're still selling. If I can find it, I'll leave the link down below. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Hope I was able to help somebody. And you want to see more of this kind of videos to give you tips on how to buy brushes or anything in general, just let me know and I will try and do that for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!